Hi everybody, this is Maddie and welcome back to my channel. But if you're new, welcome to my channel. Before we get into everything, first make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications to know when I post. Follow all of my little stinky social media and check out my merch. I will put it in the description down below. Guys, whenever I record, I just down a bunch of caffeine so I will be more entertaining. And today I took it a little bit too far and I feel like I'm on crack. So that's gonna make for a great video. So today we are doing my April Ipsy Plus bag. Like we do, we look at the little bag, which is like, you know, nice and springy and getting ready for the summer. Let's look at this little card in here and see what she has to say. <laughs> Okay. Force of nature, April, 2021. Whether you love your naked face, hashtag skincare is the new foundation, or feel naked without your red lipstick. Okay, I gotta say something. I was gonna test it out this month. Every little card that comes in my Ipsy bag says something about red lipstick. Like, <laughs> like girls wear red lipstick. Like, okay guys, we get it. You love red lipstick. I know, moving right along. Do what feels natural to you when Confidence is the first step in your routine. You can't be stopped. All right, bars. Okay, so now they have five skin-friendly superfoods. All right, so we got grapes, avocados, sweet potatoes, chia seeds, and leafy greens. Awesome, guys. Throw that away. Now we can get started. Our first little stinky product is Dr. Botanicals LM Rescue Butter. Oh, LM as in lemon. Okay, I get it. Lemon superfood all in one rescue butter. Multi-use balm. Use as a moisturizer. Rub small amounts of balm in between your fingers and apply to your face and massage until it's absorbed. Use as a treatment. Apply to any dry or cracked area such as, such as lips, elbows, and heels. Use as a cleanser. Massage a generous amount throughout your face while avoiding eyes and gently wipe away with a cotton pad or a cloth, then rinse. So you can literally use this, it seems like, for anything which is pretty cool. Um, we're gonna use it as moisturizer because if I was gonna use it as a cleanser, that would re re require a sink, which we are not around, surprisingly, right now. Um, so uh, yeah, we're in my bedroom. I don't just have a sink laying around. So we are going to use this as a moisturizer, unless if I wanna use some Nestle Pure Life, um, but we're not gonna do that today. So let's take this little foil thing off sweet. That was a lot easier than I expected. Sometimes with these nails, I can't open things and it's really frustrating, especially Jif. Jif peanut butter. I could not open that. Anyway, so it says put small amounts on your face as moisturizer. So we're just going to take like a little like pea size amount. You think that's good? We're going to rub it in between my fingers. Okay. Well, I love that it smells like lemons because I love the smell and taste of lemons. I eat lemons just straight up. Like I love lemons. I love sour things. Things, and I also love spicy things. I love all of the extremes of food. Sour and spicy. Umami's cool, sweet is cool, but like, oh, flaming Hot Cheetos, mama. This feels really thick. <laughs> I can see why it can be used as a cleanser. I'm not too sure. If it can be used as a cleanser, then should this be sitting on my face, you know? But they're saying it can, so. Getting this on my cracked skin. I've said crack like three times already in this video. Um, I'm just trying to make sure it's all absorbed so I don't feel like super mega greasy. It feels a little like I'm putting cleanser on my face, but maybe it's just because I read that, so it's like self-fulfilling prophecy or whatever the shit that's called. We're gonna see how this feels um, by the time I'm done with my makeup, and that will be like the true test to see how it's performing. So we're gonna put that over there, and we have yet another moisturizer lotion type of thing, except this is not a moisturizer. This is a hand and body cream by Sela. Sela. Okay, I need to get better at pronunciation. Nobody has made fun of me for not being able to pronounce anything yet, but I make fun of myself because it's kind of embarrassing at this point. So if it has the accent over the E, if I remember from Spanish class, it goes like eh, right? So it's Sela. Sela. Sela? Sela? Anyways, this is Cream de la cream, the very best cream, cream supreme. Jesus fucking Christ. 
Decadent Body and Hand Cream. From sea to skin, luxurious body butter formulated with Canadian Botanicals Kupaku Butter. Abyssinian Oil to richly moisturize. I don't know if those are actual things, but okay. Refreshing Orange and Grapefruit. Those are definitely not actual things. Essential Oils Leaf Skin Decadently Scented. Jesus Christ. How to use massage into skin as often as desired. Okay, well, we're gonna switch things up a little bit on here because you know, we're usually doing stuff with my face, but we'll put this on my hands, my elbows. My elbows don't get really dry. I'm pretty good at moisturizing because one thing my mom said to me when I was little and it stuck with me is moisturize today or shellac tomorrow. And I was like, you know, I never wanna be like old and saggy, even though that will happen. Oh, my nails, I can't open this. Oh my God, fuck these aligners. I can't open this. How's it smell? I can't tell because my hand is overtaken by the smell of fucking lemons, thanks to uh, the other thing I use. They're just stocking me up with cream. They're like, you dry bitch. You need some more. Oh, wait. No, I can smell it. That shit smells. Damn. And I like the packaging. It looks like these new plugs that I just got today that just came in today. Very nice, smells nice. My elbows feel great. I don't have a new product until after I put on my primer, foundation, and concealer. So I'm gonna do that and I will be back to uh, do some crazy shit. Now that we have all of that done, the next product is actually something I already use actually, like it's already in my makeup routine, but it's not because Ipsy is an asshole and sent me something I already have. It's because my mom actually got it in her Ipsy a while ago and gave it to me because she wasn't gonna use it. But you know, that gives me room to just gas it up because I think it's amazing. And that is the Trestique color contour cheek stick. So I have this same exact thing. Um, it comes with a little brush. Um, it's ass, so I don't use it, but it's just a little bronzing stick and it's amazing and I love it. So what I pretty much do is just this. Thanks Ipsy for stocking me up with this bronzing stick again. Um, but no, it just blends in really nicely and it just gives me a little bit of color before I start doing all kinds of other crazy shit to my face. Yeah, so not much to say, highly recommend it. I would actually go out and buy it if I were you guys. Also, something else I wanna say is that lemon moisturizer is honestly making my skin feel really nice. It's like letting my makeup apply really smoothly because sometimes my makeup can look a little cakey, probably because I wear a lot, but also um, because my skin and how she is, and how she likes to act up. I'm gonna do my powder real quick and then I'll come back for another little product we got. Okay, Ipsy has been going absolutely ham with sending me brushes, like ham, which I'm super happy with because I actually really love to collect brushes. The brushes we have is the Bo, Bo Gatches, Bo Gatches, and it's another like eye brush set. So they gave me five brushes. Um, one of them is an eyebrow brush. So we're gonna give her a little trizzle try. Is there any numbers? Okay, double ended brow number seven is this one. Then we also have the illuminator number seven. So is this for highlighter? Cause that is tiny, bro. I cannot use that for highlighter. I am so sorry. That is so tiny. And then we have the crease number seven. So a little crease brush. We have the tapered blending number seven. And then we we have the concealer number seven. So this is meant for concealer, but guys, I'm gonna be honest, these are tiny to use on the face. So I'm gonna be using all of these around my eye area, starting with this one for my eyebrows. So we are going to take my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Blonde. And I feel like lately I've been trying a bunch of different eyebrow brushes and it scares me each time because I'm very, connected and in love with my Anastasia brush. We are going to try this Miss Ma'am out. So we're gonna pick some up. Seems like a pretty big brush for my eyebrows, but I'm also so used to my tiny little brush. And we're gonna see how this goes. It's pretty 
could honestly i'm like very pleasantly surprised i expected this to be like terrible because i'm not gonna lie i was like that's a thick ass brush for my eyebrows but it's also kind of like short so it gives me like more control like the bristles aren't bending around and moving everywhere the only thing i'm a little worried about is trying to make the tail because I like it to be really pointed and it's kind of like a little bit of a chunky brush so it's making it a little hard. Ooh, that eyebrow looks good, Maddie. That brush actually isn't that bad. I'm not, I'm not upset. Sweet, so now we're gonna move right on to eyeshadow and I wanna do something a little different. I usually put tape down and do like a very sharp look but we're gonna try to do like a little smoke it out one. You know, we're not gonna do the classic Maddie eyeliner. We're just gonna do something smoky and pink and pretty because I'm feeling very feminine today. So I am actually the palette I'm going to be using with all of these brushes. The James Charles Morphe one. I know, I know there's tea going on with James Charles. Listen, but okay, I like this palette and we're gonna separate the artist from his work right now, okay? Okay, so I don't wanna hear anything about like, did you know that James? Like, yeah, I know, I'm very well aware. So we're gonna take this out. I don't feel like listing off all the different colors. So I'm just gonna like point to them because I don't feel like fitting this or looking at it even. We are going to start off with the one that was meant for highlighter, the uh, Illuminator number seven. And we're gonna pick up this very light pink color. And we're just gonna pick it up on this brush, see how she performs, okay? And just kind of make it like a little bit of a base for my little eyeballs, okay? So like, you know how you should do my eyeshadow. Just like, you know, get a basic color in there that kind of makes all the other colors blend more together, you know? This brush is pretty nice. Um, like I said, it's such a light color, so it's kind of hard to see, but it's really blending everything out and it's just kind of making everything look all smoothed out. So now we are going to take the um, tapered blending number seven and we're gonna take this very hot pink color in the bottom corner right here. And we're just gonna start putting that and kind of make like, you know the skeleton of what everything's gonna look like you know like the little outline not the outline but you know just start getting like my basic crease color in there so we're gonna very gently start blending this in because if you press down too hard you're gonna have some harsh lines and we don't want that we want to just be all nice and smoked out and this brush is working pretty well from what i can see so far this is just looking gorgeous maddie you look so cute girl why why were you blessed with this cuteness just a quick suck in my own dick moment right there you're not conceited because you think you're pretty okay whoever thinks that needs to suck their dick or suck your dick i guess you know because if they're sucking they clearly are already sucking their own dick so now we are going to actually take this other brush the crease number seven and we're gonna start putting a little bit of this hot pink under my eye very so far, these brushes are working very great though. I got vaccinated. I got the Johnson & Johnson one. And I got vaccinated exactly two weeks ago, so I'm technically like fully good now. I've been stuck in my house for a year. But you wanna know what? If I didn't have this time, I feel like I wouldn't have started back on YouTube. You know, even though we're all going through a hard time, you have to try to find the positive in some things. Not saying in all things, some things are just negative. So we're gonna take this flat brush, the one that was for concealer, concealer number seven. We're gonna go up here to this like glittery white color. And we're gonna put this just kind of on my lid just to like add a little bit of a sparkle, you know, just to make things a little more pop. Yeah, this is just like a chill look, like, you know, like a chill look, like, you know, you're going out with the ladies, I'm um, gonna have some natter days, or maybe playing Among Us with the boys, you know, this is just like a look for everyone. We need some darkening up. So we technically used all the brushes, but I need to grab one so I can grab one from my stock of brushes over here. Which one am I looking for? We're just gonna do this one. I'm just getting some random brush, the pencil me in brush from the last video. We're gonna get this dark pink. What is that? Yeah, I suppose that's dark pink. I don't know. And put this into my waterline. So I'm gonna lean in to do this. Okay, so we're gonna go back to the um, crease number seven brush and we're gonna pick up a little bit more of that dark pink, just like a tiny bit and kind of like smoke it out here, you know? Just to add more dimension. Yeah, guys, these brushes are just great. <laughs> I have nothing else to say other than these are some of the best brushes I've used in an ipsy video. 
item and I'm feeling this eye look. Oh my gosh, wait, we only have one more product left. Okay, well I have some things that I need to do to my face like right quick. And then we are going to come back with that last product. Damn, I guess so, right? I'll be right back. All right, ladies, our last product is one by Galactic. It's the Jello Gloss Balm. So as far as I'm concerned, this is a lip balm. I've used this brand. What else do I use from them? Oh, I use an eyeliner by them sometimes. It doesn't say much other than it's Jello Gloss Balm. So is it kind of like a mixture between a lip gloss and a balm? We're gonna give it a little Trizzle try. So it just looks like it's gonna show up clear. It has a pink color to it, but it's very light. It smells like grape. It is a lip gloss balm. It applies a little strangely because it feels like it's gonna fall apart if I press too hard but that looks pretty cute bro oh my god I didn't clear off clean off my jewelry and it's covered in makeup this lip balm has kind of an intense smell <laughs> everybody this is the look for today how are we feeling I am feeling myself okay so the first product we used was this lemon moisturizer slash facial cleanser slash oh it could also be put on dry parts of your body okay such as lips elbows and heels okay well I used it as a moisturizer and it made my makeup go on super smoothly I really like this a lot actually so I highly recommend the dr. botanicals lemon rescue butter and then after that we had the Celia, Celia, Creme de la Creme, the very best cream, Creme Supreme, which sounds like an order at Taco Bell. I use this for um, a body and hand cream. That's, I mean, that's what it is. I mean, um, and I put it on my elbows and hands and, you know, elbows feeling snatched, bro. I'm not gonna lie, my elbows are looking pretty sexy pretty pleased with them but it also smelled really good i really like this a lot highly recommend and then the third product i used was the trustique bronzing stick which i already use every time i use my makeup this is already 10 out of 10 recommend for me i love this it easily blends it's a nice color it stays it doesn't look patchy i don't know it's just amazing and then next we have all of the brushes let's go through them one by one so this eyebrow brush surprisingly was pretty good I was a little worried about doing the tails of my eyebrows, but if you're careful, you should be all right. We use the big smoky brush, which is their illuminator number seven, to kind of apply that very light pink. Um, worked really well. It really smoked it out nicely. Um, another really important thing about smoking your eyeshadow is really you just need to use a light hand. All these brushes are pretty great. Then I used this one, the tapered blending, to put that hot pink down. It went on very nicely. It has kind of a strange shape where it's like flat, so be careful when you're you're blending that you don't accidentally like knock it in a place you don't mean to because then you might accidentally put it somewhere you don't want to so I recommend holding it flat and really getting inside your crease um and then we also use this tiny brush the tiny crease number seven brush for under my eyes especially and also getting some color into the outer V this is a really amazing brush I love this one a lot a uh, really great for blending because it bends a lot it gives a lot of movement um it has nice give to it, I should say. It's not super stiff. Um, and then the last one I used was the concealer number seven brush, but I just used it to apply some glitter to my lid, which is what I use most flat brushes for. And this was perfect for that. Um, it really stayed on my lid and didn't really stick to the brush more, which I hate when brushes do that. That pisses me off, frankly. Um, so yeah, all of these brushes were amazing. This is one of the first times that I got brushes from Ipsy and none of them disappointed me. And then the very last thing I used was this jelly lip balm oh jello gloss balm i'll tell you what i don't like grape things i love grapes but i don't like grape scented things and grape tasting things it makes me tweak i hate it whenever i get a bag of gummies or something i throw all the grape or i give them away i don't like grape so it has a very strong grape smell it's kind of like fading you know as more time goes on but that i'm not really a fan of i would be like don't press down too hard i mean i kind of like have like a tight grip on things like when i'm writing or applying some stuff apply this with a light hand because i feel like this could easily crush under <laughs> under a little bit of pressure um but other than that i mean it looks really good i love how it looks i just don't like the smell and you know maybe it would be kind of cooler if it was just like a gloss but 
not super sticky. Everybody, that was my April 2021 Ipsy Plus bag review and unboxing and little makeup tutorial. How we feeling about this look? Super cute, right? Well, guys, I will see you next week with another video. I'm actually about to go record my bite update that you guys have been asking for like crazy. <laughs> um, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and comment any suggestions you may have um, or anything of that nature, whatever. Like this video, you know the drill. Bye!